Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Jean-Philippe Gabaman has said that he is feeling as fit as he ever has done at Everton and is hoping that he will be given a chance to get into Everton's first team. The Blues, of course, missing Abdoulaye Decore for the next few weeks. Uh, Tom Davies came in for him in the 5-2 home defeat by Watford last weekend. But Jean-Philippe Gabaman is waiting patiently for his chance. And I guess when you look at Everton's midfield options, now is the time for him to break in. He's had a nightmare with injuries since we signed him for from Mainz for £25 million in 2019. The fact he's only started one Premier League game during that time says it all for Everton. Uh, I think if he could get in and get himself up to speed, and I guess he'll only do that by playing games, he could be exactly what Everton need in there. He's got the physique, certainly. He can get about the pitch, got a good range of passing. But for me saying that, I know that there'll be a lot of people saying, yeah, but he can't keep himself fit. And that is a valid a valid argument at the moment. But what I would say is, for the main part, he's been fit through pre-season and this season. And hopefully now he'll be given his opportunity. Uh, there was a report, and I think the echo might have been yesterday, saying that he's not been given a goal yet because of um, it's basically not been good enough in training at times, inconsistent in training, so good Sundays and below par on others but I guess he's just got to take his chance and hopefully the manager will give him that go at Wolves on Monday I think Everton would be much better in my opinion going to a three in midfield during the absence of the Corey but we'll have to wait and see uh, Everton goalkeeper Jao Virginia who is on loan currently at Sport and Lisbon made his second appearance for Sport and Lisbon in the Portuguese Cup this week in a 2-1 victory over Familia Cal uh, um, it was his home debut in that competition and he hasn't been able to get in uh, during the league season because Adnan has been in absolutely brilliant form for them and it is a, it's a difficult task for him to try and oust Adnan but if he impresses for Sporting Lisbon there is apparently a deal in place for him to join the Portuguese club for around 3.5 million euros next summer so if he keeps doing okay in the cup then maybe they will make that deal permanent uh, Everton against Leicester City has now been moved to the Sunday. The kickoff time yet to be confirmed. Uh, this is due to Leicester City's continued involvement in the Carabao Cup. They beat Brighton on penalties last night after a two-all draw in the 90 minutes. So that game will now take place on Sunday, the 19th of December. Everton hoping to confirm the kickoff time tomorrow. So look out for that one. Uh, and finally, former Everton boss Ronald Koeman has been sacked by Barcelona last night. This was following his team's 1-0 defeat by Rayo Vallecana. Um, I don't think too many Evertonians will be, be shedding a tear for Ronald Koeman. Um, but, you know, what has been coming for weeks, it seems like, his tenure was ended last night. Another former Everton manager has been linked with the job. That is, of course, Belgian manager Roberto Martinez, heavily linked with the job, although Xavi is the current favourite to become the new Barcelona manager. So Ronald Koeman out of a job. Um, some early reports today that he may be considered by Newcastle United. So who knows, he could be back in the Premier League. That is it for us. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and if you want more videos, join us over on Patreon. See you later.